But you've been so emotionally forthcoming too, Terry, with sharing what this whole journey has been like and paying tribute to Steve. How has it been connecting with other people who have experienced a similar loss? I think that is really interesting that I figured my life was going to be dedicated to wildlife and conservation. And then after losing Steve, finding this, this new um, similarity with so many people. So people from all walks of life, you know, I'll be on a plane and the flight attendant would say, I've lost my wife and I've got kids and how do you cope raising kids on your own and 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 it's a different dynamic and you know most of us sadly will lose someone either through death or divorce and it's a tough journey and I find that standing together is so important and that's why I wrote my book was to try to encourage people to get to know who Steve was and what our journey was. So yes, absolutely, if you can get together with other people and share your journey, it seems to help. The single most important thing, I think, is when you are experiencing your grief journey, is if it is not hurting you and it's not hurting anyone else, it's okay. Yeah. If you want to keep their clothes in the closet or you want to pack everything up and put it away, it's okay. Do what you it's, need to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you don't try to find comfort in a bottle of tequila and don't be mean to people. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, and then you're okay. Yeah. There's no rules. And yeah. I try to learn and share. And 11 years on, I still really, really miss Steve. Yeah, and some days are tougher than others, but we'll, we'll get through it together, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned your grandmother. You posted such yeah. a nice photo for Steve and her birthday, and yeah. they're both holding a croc, so the legacy just continues from generation to generation. It's really special. A lot yeah. of people don't know that my dad and his mom, my grandmother, share a birthday, and so yeah. it's really nice. We have our own little celebration as a family and reflect on everything that they achieved. You know, we all live several lives in one lifetime, and they certainly packed a lot into their Absolutely. lives so it's nice that we're able to continue on in their footsteps yeah. and they, they always live on in our hearts you know I truly I don't think that everyone completely leaves when they die I think that you know they, they continue to live on in your heart and I think that for us you know living at Australia Zoo we can feel that around us every day through the work that we get to do so it's great yeah Terry, what's it like for you hearing Bindi share lovely words like this to carry on Steve's message? I mean, do you see mannerisms uh, in Steve and your children that just kind of keep you going from day to day? I mean, it's so oh, yeah. meaningful. It's, it's incredibly special, and I know uh, Bindi has worked so hard to to honor her dad and to be just like her dad, which she'd say from the time she was tiny. and. And Robert's so amazing. I, I was um, unpacking things out of the shed one day and found a picture of Steve when he was about Robert's age. And mm -hmm. I showed Robert the photo and, and I said, what do you think of this photo? And he goes, what? It's me. You know? Yeah. And I went, no, it's not you. Wow. This is yeah. your dad. Mm. And they're so much alike.